Greetings everyone. So, it's been a while and uh, today I just want to give you guys an update on what's been going on with me and tell you about some changes that um, have occurred and that will occur. Um, I know sometimes you see me seem as if I'm always doing an update video but um, there have been some recent changes in my really busy life and I'm finally starting to get to a point where um, I'm moving towards a lot of the goals that I want to accomplish in my life for this channel and um, I've accomplished some goals already. So, um, the name of this video is um, A New Name, A New Me and this is kind of a part two because if you guys have been with me on my journey, um, a couple years back I made a video I think it has the same title, A New Name, A New Me, where I've gave myself the um, magical name of Dances with Rain. And I told the story um, that was behind that name. And if you notice um, in the intro to this video that I now have a new magical name that I've come into um, and it is Willow Rose. So um, from now on, I will be, I am, will be referred to myself as Willow Rose and um, transitioning from Dances with Rain. So, um, in my last video about, that I made about my um, name change, my, my magical name, it was, the, day, the name Dances with Rain kind of stemmed from me and going through a lot of hardship. And basically, um, the tarot card that I would often, often pull for myself would be She Who Learns Through Sorrow, um, the Queen of Swords. So I took on that um, image and I took on that, the essence of the card and a lot of the lessons in my life that I'd gone through was through sorrow that I would learn them. So I was the Queen of Swords and now Coming into the age I am now, um, with the experience um, of all that has happened in my path, and with the wisdom um, that I have gained throughout each lesson and life experience, I no longer consider myself she who learns through sorrow. Granted, there all will always be pain that is a part of life and that um, has a role in helping us to evolve into uh, our higher selves and learned lesson, but I no longer see that as a driving force of who I am and the driving force of my lessons. I think I've learned a lot and I've learned how to be wise and how to move past um, making the same mistakes over and over again. And now um, I'm at a point where I am developing and want to fill my life with beauty and positive positivity and um and because i am becoming this new person like everything has changed um like in my past in my childhood every, everything was so restrictive and i wasn't really allowed to express the myself the way that i wanted to express myself be it with my clothing or my um just my individuality and um over the years, I've come more and more into my individuality, and um, and a lot of that is centered around um, beauty, and a lot of that is centered around um, mystical uh, life and spiritualism. And I think my new my name uh, Willow Rose, my new magical name, embodies that. Um, so. I chose Willow because of the Weeping Willow Tree, and I've always had a connection to the Willow Tree. It was the same way that I was connected to the moon, and um, there was this one tree that I would pass by on the bus, and it just scared the, it just scared me. It was Weeping Willow Tree, and it just looks, and I think really it wasn't fair, but it was me recognizing the its grandeur. And there was just something about that tree that seemed so mystical and so 
large and as if it held a great power. And it was later on through my practice that I learned that the willow tree is one of the most ancient and, and powerful trees that exist. And the willow tree is a representative of life and death. And, uh, and it's also, you know, it's, it's, it's usually found uh, near the place of uh, by water, which is also um, the, uh, the, 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 the liquid of life. So um, the, the willow tree also, I think, resonated with me in such a way because since I was a child, I've always had a connection to spirit and to the spirit world. It was, it would just come to me in that way. Um, so I've mentioned and past videos that I want to grow in the ways of being a medium. And I think that it is perfect um, embodiment, the willow tree of that. Um, you know, me being a medium, uh, who is also, you know, here in the living realm, but also connecting to, and naturally connecting to the spiritual realm. So there you have it, life and death. And the rose came to me because I'm so connected to the rose. And I feel that on this magical journey that I'm going to go on, I'm going to unlock many more mysteries of the rose itself. But so far, um, it's been the flower that I've been most connected to. I mean, if you look around me, <laughs> if you look around like my home, there are roses everywhere. And I've always been connected to that flower. Um, and I'm sure that there might be some, maybe there's a past life experience um, or just a deity that I'm connected to that's connected to that flower. Um, for instance, Isis. Uh, rose is her flower or also known as a set and I have a story when I first moved here and I was on the friend I was, I was on the phone talking to my friend about um, Isis and how she usually comes to me in roses and I was on the phone cleaning and I was in the bedroom and I was um, here now and up in the closet and as I was talking about that um, uh, a hat fell down and it was a straw hat with a rose on the top and I still actually have the hat it's 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 um, up on top of my um, clothes tower but it was as I was talking about the rose it was a straw hat with a rose on top that fell down and I just took that as a sign I was talking about Isis I mean how you know it's an omen um, things like that aren't a coincidence when they happen so um, I took I, I chose Rose because of my connection to the Rose, because of its connection to Isis. Um, also, um, its connection to nobility. It also has a connection to death as well. When you look at um, death rites and how the Rose was used, either anointing the body with rose oil or putting uh, roses on the grave, um, obviously has a connection to beauty and um, love, which is the essence of being. Um, so it holds a great power as well. So that is how I've come into the name Willow Rose, and I believe that that name will take me, um, will hold even more meaning as I continue my journey. So now that that's all the way, so you guys will not be confused when you see the name of my channel change and um, the intro to my videos change as well. Um, so now you have some background to that. Um, so my update, besides my magical name, <laughs> my cat's rolling around the bed. Um, so as you guys know, I've been in school and I actually graduated. I graduated in October. It was a year long program and it was work, um, working full time, going to school part time, um, with a very complex subject of law. But um, as I was going uh, for paralegal and I graduated in October and now I'm currently doing an internship. 
And that might sound weird, but for me it's not because um, going working full time and then being a part time night student, there really was no time in between for an internship. So what I decided to do, and what is often done in that program, is that they have an external opportunities program where um, you can get a volunteer position and kind of work for free just to get the experience. So that's what I'm doing um, now. And I've been at the internship for three months. Um, sorry if you see me looking that way, it's because my cat is here calling. Um, I've been at the internship for three months and working with a general um, practitioner who works in different areas of law. So I'm easing my way on into that field um, until I make a complete transition. And a part of this um, magical journey as well, you will see um, a part of my magical journey is going to be manifesting, manifesting, um, be it in this field and in the other goals that I have as well. And I want to take you guys on that journey with me. And that's what you're going to start to see when you, um, in, in, in this channel that I'm doing. Um, I may delete some old videos and as well as um, redo some and then include some new videos. So um, the main thing I want to do is uh, create a couple of segments for you guys. Um, so you're going to see, it will probably be about three, three to four segments that I'm going to do and, and you'll know them by title when I do them. And one will kind of be, you know, just topics that I'm talking about. Um, just general topics within paganism um, that I come across. And, and if there are any additional ones that are outside of paganism, I'm not sure if I will include that. But um, you'll see it's called Tea Time and Tidbits. And I'll have um, a video of that, um, a Tea Time and um, Magical Tidbits. And I'll, I'll have a, a video of that uh, posted shortly about seances. Because I've done a lot of um, ritual and work in that area, so I kind of want to talk about it a bit. So that will be an upcoming video. And um, I'll have others in store. Um, herbs is another area um, that I want to delve into um, and study in depth as well. If you didn't know, my medical name, my middle name means medical doctor. I think that's interesting. Um, I think when it was given it to me, my mom was kind of thinking of the traditional uh, doctor, but in my life, it came out um, with herbalism, learning about like herbs and healing. So I want to share whatever knowledge I have on that with you guys. And if anyone's interested in that as well, you can kind of grow with me on that journey because this is all going to be a journey. Um, so. Another update is that I've started a new coven. Um, I've started a coven with my sister, um, and, and you'll see her on this channel. Um, I don't want to give her name because uh, she might want to introduce herself and, using her magical name, and she's still coming into that. But it's interesting because throughout the time that I uh, first started to become aware of the craft and interested in it she was the one sister who had an interest in it with me and it would, had just been on my mind i was thinking back to that and thinking like wow look she was actually there with me and like practicing with me and even though it was like frowned upon in the house she had like this interest and we came from like a really really strong um, baptist background you know everything is like the the, the christian devil but she was had a natural interest in, in it with me and didn't, you know, uh, shun me or think, uh, or look at me with, in a judging way. Um, and I was just thinking about that and then she had actually come to me and I was asking me some questions about it and said that she was interested in it as well. Again, now at this age, in her old, in her older age, um, from a couple, about four years apart. So, um, and she's now made, um, a decision to... Um, go into the practice of paganism. So we've started a new coven and we're sure to bring you um, some videos about our um, adventures as well. 
uh, let's see, what else have I got here that I've done? Um, yeah, so a lot of this, you know, will, will be towards progression and uh, I will share with you some things that I want to do for 2017 and some things that I want to bring uh, to fruition and using um, the willpower and uh, focus and uh, move attraction and manifesting um, our hearts and desires. So I'm so happy to be back and happy to be making videos again. Um, my life is still pretty uh, hectic, but I think it's a bit less of a workload now that I'm not um, in school anymore right now for the time being. Um, and I say that because I do um, have other plans that I want to do in the future, but I'm not going to focus on that right now. Um, but I've, so just to give you guys a little kind of an idea of what my schedule is like right now, I have no days off. <laughs> So basically, um, and it's temporary, it's just a sacrifice that I'm making until I complete my full transition and then can get myself a Monday through Friday with weekends off. Um, but right now, what I'm doing is the two days off that I do get midweek is uh, when I do my internship. But they're office hours, so it's 9 to 5, so um, it's not as bad as having to work into the night and all that. So... Yes, um, I think that pretty much uh, concludes the video, um, and um, keep um, to keep stay tuned in for uh, the new segments that will be coming up. Um, hope to you know impart and share a lot of information um, through those segments, and I uh, hope you guys continue watching. And I thank all everyone. I have new subscribers. I was so surprised to see that because I've been um, missing for a while with like having to deal with school and everything. So thank you to all of my new subscribers and um, blessed be to everyone.